Hello everyone, welcome to Powerline. I'm your host Sky Knight, and today I'm bringing you an updated version of my Musketeer deck. Uh, this deck, I I've been fiddling around with it. I know I, I did uh, my Musketeer deck earlier on in our channel's lifetime, and the ratios were all kinds of messed up. And for some reason, it still worked when I built it, or when I played it rather. So today it's going to be an updated version of my Musketeer deck with the stride units involved. Yes, the stride units. And the ratios, fortunately, have changed in the deck slightly. <clears throat> Without further ado, let's get started. So the starter of my deck is Kira, Broccolini Musketeer. So everything in my deck is Musketeers. There are no stride enablers because of certain cards that we use. We want to increase the consistency of the deck. I'd rather consistency over the, uh, the added power. That's at least how I play. So I run Kira as a grade 3 search since I won't be able to use the grade 1 stride enablers. I need more grade 3s in my hand. That's why I run Kira. I know the other Musketeer starter that we have available to us is primarily a Legion based card. And most of the time I am not in Legion in this deck. So I using her would be a, a negative for me. So my trigger lineups are... Four heals, eight criticals, and four stands. That's right, I'm not playing any draws in my deck. Why? Because with the amount of cloning and the plus that I get from Sylvia, I feel that I don't need the draw triggers in my hand. I'd, I'd rather maximize what this deck does best, which is cloning and getting power from the clones with the stride units. So. Uh, the stride, the stand units that I had before you are an excellent way to filter out my my zones. But more importantly, I also love thinning. I love deck thinning in this in this deck. So I take out more of the non triggers out of my deck, and later on in the game, as the game prolongs, I'll be seeing more triggers because my deck will be filled with less non triggers. Alain, the critical trigger is important in the deck. I, I often sum uh, superior column from the field uh, to the field because I like to get the unflipping, so I no longer run Susanna in the deck. And that is the trigger lineup to the grade ones. I run two Ruths. So this is a new addition to the deck. I run Ruths because when I changed up the deck and I had all the pieces to the cards that I needed. The numbers are a bit off, so I'm still trying to work with it, but two Ruths seem to be the best uh, that I want to go with. I run three Merkas. She is great behind the 12k attacker, hitting the nice number of 21. Often the deck is going to be shuffled every single turn when I play, so she's often a 9k booster. I really, really, really do enjoy Merka. Four perfect guards, and the old ones. Why? Again, because this is a Musketeer deck, and Sylvia often chooses to reveal a non-Musketeer if you have one in a deck. So I'd rather just keep the whole deck Musketeers, but more importantly, as I said in the original video, Antonio is the reason why I want to build this deck. I think the card looks absolutely amazing. Again, I know you, I talk a lot about card arts, and Antonio is probably one of my favorite card arts in the whole game. And lastly, I run four Rebecca's. I love deck thinning in, in this deck. I love fixing my field in order to get what I need. And Rebecca is is one of those cards that I do enjoy playing. So I run her at the max four as opposed to running four America. And again, this is just my choice. I just love, I, I love the thinning that this deck does. And when you get later in the game and you're seeing nothing but triggers and then you're putting triggers back with the Legion, which I'll show you later, it is phenomenal how the deck runs. So, my grade 2 lineups, I'm going to get this out of the way because I absolutely don't like this card. Saul's, I don't like Saul. I don't like what he does. I don't like what he does in relation to my deck. And, yes, you can be like, oh, Sky Knight, you can take him out and, and put in something else. But, really, it's 
I can put in Cecilia, but I wasn't really a big fan of Cecilia. Again, I'm still working on this, and I'll explain to you later why I can't take Saul out. I run four. Uh, I run three Augustos. Why? Because the 12k attackers mixes very well with the 9k boost suit and make a 21 column line, and it's it's just very beneficial to have this guy in the deck. I run four Sylvias. Why? Because she is the inherent plus in the deck. I know you heard me mention her a couple of times, but again, the inherent plus in the deck. When you call her out, you get to superior call any musketeer from the top card of your library, which my whole deck is musketeers. So I don't have to worry about calling non-musketeers. Before the Legion set came out with the musketeers in it, you had to run non-musketeers with Sylvia, and it was a pain when you revealed the draw trigger that wasn't a musketeer or something else that wasn't a musketeer. So, you know, it's very key to keep this whole deck musketeer. She has a way of not of revealing a non-musketeer. And lastly, for my grade 2 lineups, again, it's pretty weird. I'm running two Kyvins. Again, I know you guys heard me talking about deck thinning and, and rearranging my field to, you know, be as optimal as possible. And I wanted to run at least two Kyvins in this deck because it helps with that. And again, I'd rather have the 12k out in front or at least the Sol. <laughs> I hate Sol. Right, so, one of, like, th I have to run this card. Personally, because I've been running it for so long, I, I don't want at least two copies of this not, and not in my Musketeer deck. For my grade threes, I'm running four Varus. I love this card. It makes absolute sense that, that it was a rarity swap. It's... It's so good. I, I like the bottom ability, how, you know, it's on the field, I get to use it, I don't have to wait. And it's, the, the Legion effect is very good if I can't stride that turn without going minus really hard. So, having her is, is a great backup grade 3. I contemplated taking out her and putting in Cecilia. Because I don't want Saul and I want to run more Kyman, so they don't want to mess up my lines. Or my grade ratios, I should say. But she gives you that power if you're not able to stride, and it, it just seemed, it just seemed. I didn't want to do it. I just didn't want to, to remove an option of power out of the deck. Cecilia is okay, you know. You put back five in the deck and superior call two, but what I really do in this deck, I deck thin hard. That's how I play this deck. I decked in so hard, and it's going to be apparent by who my alternate grade 3 is, um, where having Martina or having Cecilia just doesn't cut it for the deck. That's why I, I'm stuck with v Saul. I'm not stuck with Vera. I'm stuck with Saul. Putting, putting cards back into the deck that are not triggered does not work in my grand scheme of how I'm going to win my game. So my grade three, my main boss unit, and I do say it like that, my main boss unit is Elvira. And a lot of you are looking at me kind of weird at the screen, like, really? Really? And I'll be honest. So the game has progressed, you know, there's a lot of generation break in the game, and you have to wait, and people often want to go second so they can stride first, and a lot of people will chicken you, chicken you at two so you can go to grade three, and then the game just becomes a very stale way at grade to and no one's going to go to grade 3 because they want to stride first. And I'm impatient. <laughs> I'm extremely, extremely impatient, and I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. I want to play my game, and what is the best way for me to play my game is to have abilities in which I don't have to wait. So, yes, she does. She is a limit break, and she gets critical every time you shuffle the deck. You're the kind of best one. I don't... I rarely use that ability, guys. I rarely. It's her bottom ability. Soul Blast 1, Sack a Musketeer, check the top 5 for a Musketeer, and Superior Call It. And I can do that for as much soul as I have. 
So that'd be the grade zero, the grade one, and the grade two. So if I'm going first and I'm and I don't want to wait, I just you know summon uh, ride Elvira and use her ability three times without waiting. There's no restriction. There's no restriction on Elvira. So I thin my my deck out by three cards on top of uh, on top of finding a Kyvan, on top of finding a Rebecca, and on top of finding a Ernst. These three cards right here fuel my deck's engine, and I'll just continue going and going and going. It, minus Ernst. Ernst is kind of a replacement effect, but between Kyvan and Rebecca, I'm digging deeper and deeper and deeper into the deck, which is removing all the non-triggers out of my deck. So when I go into my, you know, when I stride and I have my, my, my G unit on, I'm attacking, the chances of me pulling a non a non trigger is very low. The chance of me pulling that trigger is very, very high because I'm running through my deck as fast as possible. Most of the game I'm hoping that like never to get a trigger. I want all my triggers to be towards my end game. And since I have potential to crit somebody with you know with eight criticals or restand one of my uh, rear guards with the stand unit, it's pretty high because again everything is going back into the deck. So that's one you know that's why I value Elvira much higher than Cecilia, much higher than Vera, much higher than Martina. It's you have something to do at any point of the game. And you can argue, oh, you can do the same thing with Vera, you can do the same thing with Ce with Cecilia. Correct. You are absolutely correct. But I get much farther with Elvira when my point is still at two than I do with the other than I do with the other musketeers. And that's why I prefer her over everyone else. And you pretty much you'd have to see it in in order to really you have to see it in action in order to really like grasp what I'm saying if you don't if you really don't understand like I dig hard uh, so for my my G units I run two Alberas why because it's a great opener to stride I was trying out I was trying out multivitamin dragon and primavera as an opener but i don't ha <laughs> one of the downsides is i don't have the open counterblast for those and again if i hit you know if i have a kyvan or rebecca on the field i can start that engine all over again and dig deeper and rearrange my fields in the middle of battle so that's why i, I have two abreras i run two jingle fire dragons I originally was running four, but since the new set came out, I dumped that down to two. Unfortunately, with Musketeers, I you don't have the same field consistency that you do with Maidens or the or now the Legion Maidens. It's at most I'll have at least two copies of a card out, and it's okay to get everything gets two K, and and you know that's good power, but it really shines when you have three copies out of everything or higher. So running Jingle Flyer Dragon in a Musketeer deck isn't the best. With that said, I do run four Ashes because it runs much much more smoother. I will I am easy easier easily able to get two copies of something on the field in order to get the 5k boost in the front row and then the second ability of copying something to, so I can put into the back row and attack so this is a lot more easier to pull off than the jingle flower although I I went through great lengths to try and fix the jingle flower field um, I don't really have any special I don't really have any special techniques in this deck or, or it, it's pretty much I play it as everything comes to me but I guess one of the techniques would be you have one of these on board and let's say I got these two over here and maybe maybe a Merker sitting behind and I've already attacked with I've already attacked with a Kyvan. So like Kyvan's already attacked. This goes, it hits, I would end up copying 
one of the, one of these two cycling this off and just continue to cycle between the two if I get these cards out in order to fix my field uh, with something amazing so like I maybe end up with this pulling off one of this and flipping two damage again it depends there's no real concrete way on how this will end up so with that said guys thank you for listening to my deck profile if you have any questions comments concerns leave it in the comment section below if there is a deck that you would like kaiser or myself to profile let us know in the comment section below uh thank you for listening and have a great day